Bookman Nerds, how are you? I'm Priyakshi, a member of the editorial team of Book Nerds, and today I'm going to talk about a few Indian writers that I loved reading. The first book that I'm going to talk about is The Glass Palace by Amitav Ghosh. It is a historical novel spanning several generations, over a hundred years. It begins at a point where the king of Burma is exiled to a place in India called Ratnagiri uh, and the fortunes of a boy called Rajkumar who makes his fortune in the teak trade in Burma. The second part of the novel uh, is about the Japanese invasion of Burma and how Rajkumar's fortunes change again and how he is thrown out of Burma and makes a long and arduous journey back to India. With his masterly grip over history and writing, Ghosh manages to keep you engrossed throughout. The second book is Vikram Seth's A Suitable Boy. It is a monumental work in English literature. Despite its size, it's written in a very, very lucid language and style. It is set in post-independence India and is about four families and uh, it traverses across several regions of India. It is a saga of a mother's quest for a suitable boy for her daughter and the choices that the daughter exercises. This tale will definitely keep you engrossed and entertained. I promise. Give, do give it a try. The third book is The Trotternama by I. Alan Seeley. This is one book that I really enjoyed reading because the fascinating tale of an Anglo-Indian family told through the eyes of the seventh trotter named Eugene. It is an audacious book. It is satirical, magical, comical, all at the same time and is interspersed with recipes, documents, journal entries, verses and what not. It's a fascinating book. The next book is Jerry Pinto's M and the Big Whom. It is a darkly humorous tale of the narrator's mother's mental illness and how the family copes with it. Written in a light-hearted and humorous manner, you will encounter eccentric characters in this book and several interesting facts about mental illness. This is one book that I really enjoyed reading. Kiran Nagarkar's Kakold had won the Sahitya Academy Award for Best Fiction in English. Now this book is very close to my heart as I had edited this book when I was an editor at HarperCollins. It is set in 16th century Mewar and is told through the eyes of the narrator Rana Sangha. It is a tale of power, intrigue, inheritance and most importantly love. It has a mystery that will leave you stumped at the end. It is written in a modern day language so that the readers can identify with the dilemmas faced by the principal characters in this book. It is a tale worth reading. Jeet Thail's Narcopolis was shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize of 2012. It brings to you a Bombay that you had never seen before, a Bombay of pimps and prostitutes, drug dealers and opium addicts. Jeet Thail is quoted as saying that he had lost 20 years of his life to addiction. But this book shows that that experience had not gone in vain. This is a brilliant debut novel.